Privatization is a shady past in Russia. Now the country is getting ready to embark on another wave of state asset sales under pressure to contain a looming budget crisis. Just moments ago, editors of the Financial Times decided what is going to be in tomorrow's edition. Our new segment, Lex on Bloomberg. We partner with the FT to get a sneak peek, and Neil Buckley is joining us from London with this story. Neil, you know Russia inside out. You're a former bureau chief in Moscow for the FT. What are you going to be telling us in tomorrow's paper? Well, we're reporting that, uh, uh, as you know, Igor Shuvalov, the uh, first deputy prime minister of Russia, who is one of the, uh, the main uh, liberals in the government and has a big economic role, he's been going around saying to uh, people like us and to yourselves on Bloomberg Television that Russia is planning a major uh, privatization wave. Uh, later this year and going into next year. And what we're saying is that this uh, op presents a major opportunity for Russia, actually, to draw a line under the past uh, with its past privatizations in the 1990s, which were chaotic and flawed and highly controversial, uh, and do it in a much better and more transparent way this time. But we have to wait and see whether they can deliver on that. All right, Neil, thank you very much. That is Neil Buckley, former Moscow bureau chief, now writing for Lex at the Financial Times, joining us with a sneak peek in tomorrow's paper.